Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a model that was built from 2013 to 2016. This is the IWC Portuguese Classic Chronograph, reference 3904-02, 42mm in rose gold. The watch is 14.5mm thick and 51mm lug tip to lug tip with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference. You can see as dress watches go, this is a large one. Well, not as large as some of the other Portuguese models. It does have a significant thickness at almost 15 millimeters, so it does still feel substantial, though it's not a 43 or a 44. You can see on my wrist, I've got a little bit of clearance on each side, and this down the barrel shot, and it's pretty much right out to the edge of my wrist when viewed from the top. So I'd recommend this watch for a wrist 15 centimeters circumference or larger. It should be low enough to fit underneath some cuffs, but you're good to go with almost any jacket sleeve. Taking a look at the strap here, you can see it's a gloss, large rectangular scale alligator leather in medium brown. It actually has a little bit of a gradient from medium to dark brown. You can see that there is a sheer cut side showing the layers of construction. There's some stuffing inside, bolstering to add volume, a monotone stitch, and then on the underside, the signature signal orange of Italian leather maker Santoni, which is the OEM supplier to IWC, and you can see this is a brand new IWC factory strap cut and sewn in Italy by Santoni. And of course, when it's on the wrist, you can't see that signature signal orange. Uh, taking a quick look at the opposite side, not much to say other than it's a handsome rose gold pin buckle with alternate beveled polished and satinated elements. I particularly like the contrast between the satin of the top of the buckle and the polish of the pin itself. The attention to detail is strong. The case is again simple but strong. It has the traditional Cal Calatrava and Portuguese are blended lugs. Those are the two watches to come out of the 1930s that are A, still with us, and B, subscribe to that sort of form follows function. The lugs were not designed to be flourishes or appurtenances of ostentatious presence. They were designed to be built into the case, all of a piece. Polished on their top, you can see there's also a concave and polished bezel. There are polished pump style chronograph pushers for a vintage look and then an IWC proboscophusia motto style crown as it's known. You can see that there is a domed sapphire that's designed to evoke a vintage plexiglass. And then on the dial side, we have some elements of the original 1939 Portuguese, including the small seconds at six o'clock, the railroad track outboard for reading the minutes, the leaf style hands, and the vertically arrayed Arabic numerals. Here we also have outboard indices to complement the Arabic numerals, twin sunken sub-registers, one with coaxial chronograph minutes and hours up at 12 o'clock. Then you've got your constant seconds down at six o'clock. You've got your center counterweighted lancet style chronograph seconds hand. You've got those polished red gold leaf style hands. And if you note carefully, you can see that the chronograph minutes register here is a 60 minute register rather than the more conventional 30 minute register. You'll also appreciate that this is a flyback chronograph. So reset and restart with a single push of the button and a faceted window tapering down to a black on silver date disc. That little taper and faceting uh, preventing it from seeming overly sheer or deep a cut through the dial. Silver satin dial with a sort of dull matte finish, understated in design. It is a German Swiss watch after all, made in Schaffhausen. On the reverse side of manufacturer movement, we have caliber 89361 flyback chronograph, automatic winding with a four pole IWC Peloton winding system invented by IWC watchmaker Albert Peloton in the late 40s and implemented in the early 50s. It is a very efficient, shock tolerant, and highly copied automatic winding system. Most have two poles. This version of it has four for even greater efficiency. It winds a 68 hour power reserve. The watch does feature both a vertical clutch and a column wheel as a chronograph. So thanks to the vertical clutch, you get a very smooth engagement of the chronograph seconds hand with no jump or stagger. Thanks to the vertical clutch, again, you can just leave the chronograph running if you prefer your hours, minutes, and seconds at center. Uh, you just ignore the small seconds, ignore chronograph minutes and hours, leave it running, no hazard or wear and tear there. Now the watch also includes a column wheel. So it's a very crisp mechanism to operate. You can hear it. You can feel it. A column wheel is the traditional way of building a chronograph. It's not as cheap as a cam system or as easy to robotically manufacture, but it is the traditional and more pleasing way to do this. Now the watch does include both a hacking seconds function and a quick set for the date. And turning over to the balance, you can see it's been 
adjusted in five positions, which is the standard for high horology and chronometers. It is a 38 joule movement. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour, and to better hold that five position adjustment in the face of concussions, bumps, and shocks on the wrist, it is a free sprung balance, which also allows the watch to be very precisely regulated. You can see the finishing is mostly mechanical, but handsome, and the timepiece features a 30 meter water resistance, which is sufficient for splash or rain, but you don't want to take it swimming. This is a watch that has lots to offer. It's a Portugueser without being huge, it's a complication without being a sports watch, and it's an IWC that allows you to own one of the core collection models without necessarily having to jump for a pilot style. So there are the Portuguese dress watches and the pilots, and those are the two pillars of modern IWC. Own one, and you have basically the signature of the brand and the core model. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.